What's up everyone? This is the Montre Black. Today we're gonna react to Silver Changes the Future in Death Battle. Let's watch. This episode is sponsored by Tales from the Stinky Dragon. Did you see Stranger Things and think, I wanna play D&D? Are you watching House of Dragons and think, hmm, what does a dragon smell like? Or are you a seasoned DM who's been playing D&D in your basement since you were nine? Behold Tales of the Stinky Dragon, a hilarious audio D&D podcast. Join Dungeon Master Gus Sirola each week as he guides our adventurers Barbara Dunkelman, Chris Damaris, Blaine Gibson, and John Reisinger through an epic campaign following the interns of the brave and mighty Infinites. Little do they know that the Infinites are in danger and our hapless interns may be their only hope for salvation. Can the interns save the Infinites and figure out what dice to roll for a strength check? To find out, you can listen to Tales from the Stinky Dragon wherever you get your podcasts. It's the year 3437 PXE. The world of Mobius has entered an era of darkness. This savage future has been ravaged by unending fires, giant monsters, ecological disasters, and general dystopia of all kinds. But standing against this harsh and bleak reality is a lone hero. A young hedgehog with silver quills named, uh, Silver. So, yeah, comic book Silver doesn't sound too different from the one in the video games, right? <laughs> Don't count on it! This is the same comic where all the tales in the multiverse fuse together into this monstrosity. So strap in for a wild ride! With no family to speak of, Silver was taken in by the last elders of his damaged world, including the immortal wizard of chaos, Mammoth Mogul. Silver's goal was to become a knight of Cronus, a time-traveling warrior who could save the future by changing the past. Silver's base abilities include super strength and super speed, though not quite at the same level as those of Knuckles or Sonic, respectively. Well, that's okay, because he's got his own special weapon, Mind Bullets! And more, a lot more. Silver possesses the rare power of psychokinesis, allowing him to move himself or other objects around with just his thoughts. He can move anything from rocks to skyscrapers to entire mountains. But that's not all he's got up his sleeves. Er, gloves. He always keeps a warp ring on hand, a size-shifting power ring that can teleport him anywhere he likes, even other dimensions. And he can access the insights, resistances to corruption, and power boosts many other Mobians can attain with usual power rings. With all this, he was a shoe in for school with the Woolly Mammoth Mage. Thanks to Mogul, Silver got to learn about two other magic abilities he'd soon master. First up, Chaos Control! The magic Mogul pioneered himself centuries ago. This is the stuff Sonic and friends used to shoot pew pews and turn into super not sands. Then, Mogul discovered another magic, Cronus Control. With this, Silver can move through time with very little effort, made even easier thanks to his Time Stone, a gem that governs time itself. After doing tons of research, Gross, Sylvie and Vogel discovered that their shitty lives could all be blamed on just one person. Apparently, one of Sonic's own freedom fighters turned traitor and ruined everything. What a twist! So Silver set off with a full arsenal to baby Thanos that bastard. Which would obviously never work. God, nobody gets time travel. I mean, I do. I just got back. What? Yeah, I know who wins the episode. Oh, <laughs> it's a doozy. What? No spoilers! Come back next week to learn for yourself in Silver versus Trunks from alternate universes or some shit. If you like the video, give a thumbs up. I'll see you on my next reaction. This is the Montre Black. Peace.